So Vanner Fanner family, today we're doing another van repair. Vanner family, so today is another van repair, an actual mechanical repair. I have to replace my idle control valve or idle air control valve. I've seen it written both ways online. So I watched a video twice. No, actually three times I watched this video and I'll share the video link with you. It's not the best quality, but it made me see enough that I was able to figure out how to do it for my van. Even though the year of the van is different than mine, it looks pretty similar. So, and the part itself looks exactly the same. So um, that's what we're doing. Okay, so this is not going to be a how-to video. Um, I'm just sharing with you me doing what I'm doing. This is not supposed to take place of a ha um, how to do this type thing. I'm going to um, get my tablet and have the video over here in the corner so that I can look at some of the things that he's doing in his video to help me with my video. I do know I have to remove these two bolts up here, two bolts here, one bolt here, and uh, remove this whole situation because that's where the idle control valve is. <laughs> of course it wouldn't be somewhere easy, right? Ugh. So yeah, it's in a situation that requires me to move this, and I forgot what it's called. He does say it in the name of it in the video, but I forgot what this is called. I know this, I think this has to do with the air um, flow, possibly. I think there's a filter in here, maybe. I don't know. Anyway, so I'm going to remove all these items and um, get to the actual part and look at it before replacing it. Either way, I'm going to replace it. It was a $43 part, but I'm going to replace it anyway. Because I'm 100% sure that's what needs to be replaced. And even if it doesn't need to be replaced, it probably should be. Because it's probably the original part. So, that's what we're going to do. Okay, y'all, so I sat here for an hour trying to find my idle control valve. Well, unlike the video, his was visible without removing this. His engine's a little different than mine. So I had to remove this whole hose situation here. <laughs> and there it is, right there. Anyway, it took me an hour. I even went inside and removed the doghouse to find it. Because I thought, okay, well, maybe it's not, maybe mine is not accessible from the front, maybe I gotta go to the doghouse. And so yeah, my whole front of my van is, is a mess. <laughs> All right, so I found the idle control valve. So I'm gonna move you guys over to this side so you can see it. All right, this is the part I'm replacing. <clears throat> this is the idle control valve. And like I said, I couldn't see it because of this whole hose assembly that I had to take off of the uh, engine. So um, yep, this is the part I'm replacing. Here is the new one. 
and I got to take the old one off before I even think about doing anything with the new one. So I'm going to let the video run. The quality may not be the greatest because it's very difficult to get you in here. And I'm going to zoom in. So it's right down here next to this opening. It's really difficult for you to see. I know that. But um, yeah, put my little light here. I don't know if that's going to help a whole lot, but <laughs> anyway, I did not put gloves on. I know. I should know better, right? I should definitely know better. Anyway, there are two bolts. So it is bolted. Let me show you on this one. It's bolted to the side like this. So that means it's very difficult for me to get, get in there and unbolt the bolt here. And there's a bolt underneath. So the bolts are on the top. And on the bottom so that's going to be hard to get into so I'm gonna take the plug off first take the hose off and try and get at those bolts and uh, get that old one pulled off Jeez Louise Okay, plug is out. Um, oh, there is no... Hmm, I thought a hose went on here, but it does not. That cap stays on because the cap is still on this one. So that's not what I thought. All right, cool beans. Now I've got to... The plug has another anchor point with one of those little um, tree things. I'm going to pop that so that I can get to the bolt because that is in my way. Of course it won't come out easily. And it is really difficult to see. So I know you're not getting anything but my head. Um, I apologize. I will zoom you out because you're not getting anything but my head anyway. Um, getting your hand in. So it won't come off. It's too tight. And I don't want to <clears throat> crack the hose. So I'm just going to work around it. <clears throat> but I can tell you right now. This is the top bolt, which is the easily accessible bolt, so I don't even know how I'm going to get this bottom bolt off. But it is going to be slow going, because I only have literally an inch and a half to two inches of room to turn the socket. So, this is going to be a slow repair. I've got all day. I think it's moving is it I can't tell <laughs> I don't know if my glove finger is just sliding on it or if it's actually moving <laughs> very difficult to tell no I don't think it's moving well I'll come back once I have the part completely taken off I know it's only been a few minutes for you or actually it hasn't even been minutes it's been seconds look at my hand I took my gloves off but I finally got this some off. Yeah, I want to cuss right now, but I can't. I had to take my gloves off because I needed the dexterity of my fingers, and I've been having an issue with my right middle finger. Um, the arthritis in it has gone to an all-time high of pain. So this is the idle control valve, the old one. And I thought it was an original. I don't think it is, though. Nope, because it doesn't have Ford on it. Usually Ford original parts will say Ford or Motocraft or something. This does not have any of that on it. So, it is what it is. And I'll take that little, this little thing off. It comes with a new one as well. It's pretty dirty, so it's, it's cool that I'm changing it. So here's my new little 
um, I don't know what this is called, <laughs> but this is a new one. <laughs> and um, I'll let you look at the inside of this one. I don't know if you can see that. It's really difficult to see. Let me get my light. So here's the inside of this one. Can you see it? There's a spring in there, but the spring is really cruddy. I don't think you're seeing that at all. <laughs> Sorry. It's not helpful. Anyway, the spring one and the new one, of course, much cleaner. You can actually see it without the light. So, again, it's a good thing that it's being replaced. So, it took me almost an hour to get that thing off. And believe it or not, the top bolt was more difficult to take off than the bottom bolt. Go figure. Don't make sense, but it was. So let's get this put back together. And I can get all my um, hose and air, um, what do you call that? I forgot what it's called, but the air thing that I took out, get it all put back together and we'll start it up and see how it sounds. I guess I should have started it up to let you hear how it sounded beforehand, but it was um, a really loud and rough idle. And it got to the point where putting it in reverse to back up into a parking space, it would cut off on me. I'm fighting bugs. And um, occasionally, like two or three times at a light, stopped at a stoplight, um, it cut off on me as well. And so I looked up those symptoms. And the biggest thing I found on the internet for those symptoms, especially the cutting off in reverse, was the idle control valve. So I'm hoping this solves my problem. Because I got a tune-up already. Got a fresh oil change. Um, what else did we do on this? That was it, I think. All new wires, plugs. Um, yeah, air filter was good. Fuel filter was changed. So I'm hoping this is the last repair for a nice long while. Except for regular maintenance. Please, universe, creator, let this be the last repair other than getting the lights fixed. Please let this be it for at least a couple years with just regular maintenance, please. It just goes to show that even with low miles, sometimes there are things you gotta you gotta work on because um sometimes Sitting too long is not good for a vehicle either. All right, let's get this hand tightened on. Oof. Man, oh man. I'm dreading it. <laughs> uh, back here. Oh, no. Gotcha. Got it. Jeez Louise. <sighs> I got it. <laughs> Ugh, I swear. So I lost the bolt. Can't find it. Mr. P came home. He's actually helping me. I'm not videoing him right now, but I brought a bolt out of his little tool kit. Look at my hands. Isn't that crazy? And got the bottom one hand tightened, but this right hand, this middle finger that I've been having issues with the last couple of weeks is not cooperating. So Mr. P is trying to help me put the new part in because this hand is not cooperating. <laughs> but um, yeah, I could probably put the other parts back on, but I can't, my hand, getting my hand back there, considering I've been doing this for like three hours, it's like, nope, I'm done. Anyway, we'll get it put back together and then I'll let you guys see it. Okay, we got the part back on. Now it's just putting the car back together. So we're gonna put those, um, the hose in the air system, the hose that I had to take off to even access the um, idle control valve. I have to put that back and then we'll put the, um, what is that part called, Mr. P? Uh, I know it's part of the intake, air system. Intake, okay, intake. so the, in the air intake, put that back on top and clip and hose, put the hose back on that. And then we'll start her up and hopefully she sounds better or he sounds better. I haven't decided if this van is a male or female yet or a girl or boy or whatever. I haven't decided it's gender. Anyway, 
We're putting it back together. Okay, moment of truth. It's all put back together. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, okay. It's not starting. The battery? Shouldn't be. Try it again. The lights came on. I mean, everything's coming on. Well, turn your wipers off. The wipers are off. Yeah, that's the battery. I'll get the booster box. What? It's a brand new battery and it's been, it's stayed on. Oh my gosh. You know what? I can't with this van. <laughs> ah! And I even have the little solar panel that's supposed to trickle charge into the... I'm gonna have to get another battery. God darn it, it's a new battery. Pam put this battery in when she got this van not even a year ago. My thing is supposed to trickle charge into my starter battery. I have a little solar panel in the um, windshield that's in the cigarette lighter and it's supposed to trickle charge into the, um, whatchamacallit. I don't know what's going on. I've taken the bulbs out of the lights that were staying on when my side door was open. I don't know what else to take off. All right, try it. I'll put back together and start it up. I'm gonna have to do something about this battery now. And I did order another house battery so that I'm not using that front cigarette light charger. Although I wasn't having this issue before and I was using it a lot, so I don't know what's going on with it. But um, yeah, I'm gonna get a new battery, most likely, even though there's a wear warranty on this, so I need to figure out where this came from. I'll have to contact Pam and see. And, um, swap it out and I'm getting another house battery because that 35 amp hour battery is just not enough the one panel is fine this is a 100 watt panel but the small battery is just not enough so thanks for watching and I'll see you next time enjoying the videos then give a thumbs up subscribe share and comment support future videos on patreon for just a dollar a month and text Vanner Fam, all one word, to 703-783-3232. I'll see you next time.